People don't think I look like a drug dealer. <laughs> I spoke with drug dealers, I spoke with dark web drug dealers. I talked to people about where these drugs come from and why they're distributed the way they are. What's the financial incentive? And I'm supposed to believe that the May 1st law is gonna be enforced. I share your cynicism. <laughs> What's more troubling to me is that China also offers these VAT rebates for a wide array of fentanyl analogs. Our guest, journalist Ben Westhoff, says fentanyl is now killing more Americans annually than any other drug in American history. First wave is the pills, second yeah. wave is street heroin, and then third wave is fentanyl. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Senator Talent, Commissioner Wessel, and the distinguished members of the commission for allowing me to testify today. When they have an addict that dies, that's their best seller. Yeah, well, you said a lot of a lot of good points there. I, I went into a lab in, in China, China where they made these and they made fentanyl analogs. They let you in? They look kind of just like Breaking Bad, like industrial-sized glassware. Was he suspicious of you? He was suspicious of me. We had met over the internet and I pretended to be a customer. The amount of chemicals they were making was so large, it reminded me of the scene in Scarface where Al Pacino was sitting at the table full of massive piles of cocaine. Westhoff, who's now based in St. Louis, where his journalism career began, has become a key figure in the fight to prevent deaths from illicit fentanyl. They've never had an overdose death in one of these places. They, they have, they're connected to uh, treatment centers. They give out methadone, suboxone, all these treatment drugs. It brings people into the system so that they're accounted for. The statistics are bleak, it's very sobering, but I believe that if we use common sense techniques with a proven track record of success, we can really make a dent in the opioid crisis. So I love speaking to conferences, summits, universities. I love talking to people who are dedicating their lives to slowing the spread of dangerous drugs, to preventing overdose deaths. I love speaking to those people, helping educate them about what we can do to stop this epidemic.